Hi, my name is Asha and welcome to Asha's Bakehouse. So today we are going to make a rasmalai cake but with a twist. So the twist is here. One second. We are going to make rose rasmalai. Okay, rose rasmalai cake. So all we need is vanilla cake sponge weighing 300 grams. Rasmalai. I have just colored it pink. I have removed all the malais from this bowl. So basically, what is malai? This is called malai. I removed it separately, added some pink color and gave it a good mix and soaked the rasmalai into the same liquid. This is soaked for good 13 hours now and this is how it turned. Okay, so next what we need is whipped cream. I have colored it pink. We need some almonds and pistas. You will need scrapers, offset knives, a cake board and a turntable. Okay, so let's begin. So, Alright, so now I'm just going to flip this and I'm going to soak this uh, cakes with the rasmalai liquid. So this is called rus basically. I'm going to soak this with the rus. Repeat the same for these two layers also. Right, so now we have soaked the cakes with the rus of the rasmalais. Okay. Now we are going to chop this pistas and almonds. So all you need is this and crush it. This way it's much easier than uh, using a knife and cutting it. Alright, so now I'm done crushing the almonds and the pistas and this is how it looks. It took me just hardly 30 seconds and chopping them with a knife will take you a longer time. So this is the easiest method you can follow. Okay, now let's assemble the cake. For that we need a turntable. Okay, now start with applying some cream which we have already whipped and colored pink. Apply a thin layer of it and now I'm going to just start with assembling the cakes okay so now the first layer is here add a thin layer of the cream remove the excess cream if you feel it's too much okay now it's time to add the rasmalais. So here's a trick, okay, which I'll show you. Add the rasmalais. You need to remove the juice or the rus out of the rasmalais. So using two spoons, just softly squeeze it and see, it's ready. Now you can chop this and just spread it. Okay, repeat the same process. So I have layered it with rasmalais now. Now add some chopped pistas and almonds. Don't add too much. We need it for the decorating part as well. Just add a little amount of that. And now apply cream again. Okay. Okay, so why am I applying cream again? This is to secure the cake. So when you add the next layer and you cover the whole cake, there are times when the cake slides off. So to avoid that, we are frosting with some cream. Now, we're going to add the second soaked layer. I'm going to apply a thin layer of the cream. And then the same process again. Take the rasmalais, squeeze the juice and the rasa out of it and chop the rasmalais and place them. So this is how uh, this layer is also going to be. Repeat the same step. Alright, so I have added rasmalais to the second layer also. Now repeat the same process. Add some pistas and, uh, add some pistas and almonds.
okay so now post it again apply a thin layer of the green don't add too much all right now the final layer okay we are going to add the final layer now and now the process is simple you just need to frost the cake coating is done now after this process few bakers they chill the cake for 15 to 20 minutes i don't do that neither do you have to you can just directly apply the cream and frost the cake and start with the decorations all right guys so now i am just going to frost the cake i did not refrigerate the cake i'm just directly frosting the cake All right. Now, with the help of a scraper, I'm just going to scrape and give it a neat look. Our cake is ready. Just the decoration part is left. To decorate the cake, I am going to use a piping bag and this tip. Okay. So all you have to do is cut the piping bag, add the tip, add the tip, add the cream now. So I am just going to make some simple designs. Okay, so the bordering is done. Now I'm just going to take some ras malai, squeeze the juice out of it, and place it. So I fill the cake with the ras malai. I fill the cake with ras malai. Just add some chopped pistachios and almonds to finish the look of the cake, and add some rose petals, and your cake is ready. If you want you can decorate the sides also. Okay, so my cake is ready. I have decorated the sides of the cake as well. So this is how the cake looks.